Hello, I'm Jody Wolf. You're watching Exposed on April 19, 2015 at 6 p.m. Birmingham. Topic, um, re Penmont City Beach, Florida 2. How's that? I just have a, a little bit to say on Hannity on Fox. They continue to hammer it. And I fully understand where they're coming from. But I wish they would show the statistics from back when it first started in probably the latter 40s. And then when the teenage crowds really started going in the uh, probably like the late 50s and today. And if you count the number of people from then and now you'll find that there's going to be more crimes statistic-wise. But compare Panama City Beach, Florida to Chicago. You can't. Chicago has Panama City beat hands down all kinds of crime. Everything. Compare to East L.A. Compare to Dearborn, Michigan, where a lot of crime is simply overlooked thanks to the Muslim no-go zones there. And by the way, there is a no-go zone there. And uh, and then Lake, was it Harrisham? Is that's either Nevada or California. But I know, you know, the last three years, gone back and look at some clips. Well, the same thing's going on there. Um, and then compare it to New Orleans, compare it to Miami, Florida. And I'm talking about almost a, a daily event during these times of uh, holidays and the times where people accumulate and go to. And then on standard days almost in Phoenix, Arizona and, and in San Diego, but compared to the number of people today in last year and then the year before and the year before and the year before, there's not been an increase that high. But I've got it all here. But absolutely, absolutely no rape is acceptable. None. I'd hang them up by the new note, you know what, if I called them. No shootings acceptable, period. There's, they shouldn't carry guns down there if they're going to be drinking like that. And no drugs. But when did these things begin? Well, they began when you took prayer out of schools. Think about that. Here, um, well, I'll take that back. That's the wrong picture I wanted to, to show you. And maybe I should have gone there first to look for it. Um, okay, here it is. I, unfortunately, I have several pictures, but I want to read them. And uh, number one, 2014, there's uh, 799 crime stats. These are number of reports that didn't specify in 2014 and 1400 and. 2015, 81% increase. And then you have calls for service. 2014, you had 4,100. And 2015, 6,100. And then you have beach ordinances. 2014, you had one. 2015, 347. Well, the reason you have a 34,600% increase there is because the cops didn't go down the beach and pick on everybody with a drink in their hand until this year. This year. They did it in the past only when they're walking down the street or if they're creating problems walking down the street, or if they're in back of a car or truck or sitting on the hood of cars. But these are all included on the beach.
So X that one. These things have continued on the beach from way back. And then you have total arrest in 2014, 324, and 15, 1,091. And the increase in the arrest were 90%, 95% were drinking. They didn't do this in the years before. They didn't do it. They left the people alone. But then you have the drug arrest. 2014, there was 43. In 2015, there was 302. And um, I don't know, I think it's about it. Weapons arrest, 2014, 8. 2015, you had 16. They were not looking for guns in the past. There was really no need to because there had not been gun violence. And the sex offenders, 2014, 6, 2015, 11. They could have had that number back in 1960 had they looked for it. But I want to throw one more thing in here. And I don't care who I piss off. I'm going to tell you like it is. I'm going to tell you the truth. Look at who causes most of the crime in Detroit and Chicago and in Panama City Beach, Florida. Crime. I'm talking about that girl that was raped on the beach who was involved. The people that brought guns and shot seven people who was involved. If you take out a color, then everything else seems to fall back into normalcy. Slap me in the face. I don't care what you say, what you do, but that is the truth. White people did not bring the guns and shoot seven folks. These people that came in here and got in trouble were not out from spring break. Hell, they didn't even go to school. They just came down and followed the crowds to try to get what they could get. And you know what I'm talking about. If you want to do a, st a statistic reading on it, do it in a fair way. Don't block out color, say, okay, here's the crime for blacks. Here's the crime for, crime for Hispanics. Here it is for Chinese. Here it is for Caucasian. Here it is for Native American. Then put them together, and you'll see that the white crime is the minimum, the bare minimum. Hannity, do some kind of research on it you did on everything else but you just didn't say who was committing most of the crimes damn y'all jody wolf exposed